Hey guys, welcome to my second video on my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to give out my thoughts on nihilism. Um, my first thought on nihilism is that I think life is completely meaningless. I don't really see like the reason to do anything in life as far as waking up and going out, having to go to school, having to go to work, and come back and have certain things done, like my ideas on why we have to do things on a certain day, why we plan things on a certain day, and it has to be done in a certain way, like I never understood it, um, I know I started off horribly, but uh, whatever, I was still trying to figure out how to always put my words together, I'm still working on that, um, but anyway, I, I do think life is meaningless. And not in a way of everything we do is is like bad or or it shouldn't be done. I think everything I think we add meanings to things, add value. But uh, I never understood why certain things are taken so seriously, especially as the older I get. And I always wonder like the amount of people who actually have the same amount of thoughts as me. But yeah, that's my thoughts on a meaningless life. I don't really get it. I don't, I don't see why people take things so seriously. Especially when you start to realize that most of our issues are psychological. You really start to put things in perspective and realize that the things that we go through is all just like mental. It's all, or emotional, I should say. And it should be natural to feel that way. But as long as you learn and know how to control it, then there's nothing wrong with it. But I think everything we do, we just add meaning to it. We just add purpose to it and a value. Just so it can make us feel better, because that's just part of human nature, and that's what I think about it. My second thought on nihilism is God existence, and I know this could be a tough one, because there is religion everywhere across the board. I don't even know how many there are in total. I've never even googled it before, but yeah, I don't. I don't believe in God. Uh, I remember my, my day. It actually wasn't too long ago. I remember when I told. Everybody at the table, at my, uh, my family, that I didn't believe in God. It was actually like in the middle of a prayer. It was very, um, a little awkward at first, but then actually I just didn't care after that. Mom even asked me why I didn't believe. And the reasons why, I just told her, like, as the older you get, you start to think differently. And, as, and also the older I got, I realized that it's okay to be like that. It's okay to be different. It's okay to have your own thoughts and opinions and just say it without being embarrassed by it because that's just how life is we all have we all brought into this world with our own families and our own stories and it's completely normal to feel like that and I felt actually comfortable doing it, it felt a little awkward because everybody was sitting down at the table but after that it was actually pretty good to me um yeah I don't I don't believe in God I don't think I don't think we really I don't think anything is created by one human being this entity that we all call God I believe I do think there is a creator. I do think there's something out there that has made this. Because there's a reason to all of this. Um, this and I can it's a long story behind it of how I think about it, but just to just to shorten it out, um, I do think so, there was a creator to this. Because I mean, I always think about what did the world look like before the Big Bang? Was everything just all black? Was everything all white? Was everything like completely oblivion? Um what did, what did the world, or what did the universe look like before it even became the universe? That's things I always think about, um, uh, which is weird to me. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts about it. For my third thought, my opinions on why we're all here. Um, my opinions on why we're all here, I think we're actually just here because of certain historical events. I think we really just got lucky, like very lucky. Because how I see it is, where our species is the king of this entire world. Like, if dinosaurs didn't get all taken out by that huge, huge asteroid that took them out millions of years ago, billions of years ago, I don't, I don't think we would have all the things we have today. Like, can you imagine going to work or going to school, going to the studio, like you know, whatever you do for a living, and you having to walk past or to to uh, sneak past T Rexes and and rhinoceros and all kinds of Dinosaurs, even though I know I just said rhinoceros, 
But um, yeah, I can't imagine a life where we would have to live in a world where dinosaurs are still roaming around this planet. That would be terrifying. That's when I realized, like, that's why I started taking things seriously into consideration that I really do. Well, everyone has to really appreciate the type of world we live in because we we are technically, even though we don't belong here, we are the kings of this world. I mean, with our intelligence, the way we operate, we're able to take over. And that's why there's no other species, just because of the way they're built, the way they were brought into this world, that can take over humans. And it's even getting scarier for us, the fact that in the future, we're eventually going to have artificial intelligence, and they're going to go, you know, beyond what we even could even imagine by the time humans are extinct. And uh, that's my thoughts on it. I don't really think... We're here because of a certain entity, something was brought to us here. I think we're here because of certain historical events of how we were put in place. And we were just at the right place at the right time. And I'm really happy I made a video like this to get my thoughts on nihilism and just life being completely meaningless. And we're just here for a ride. And yeah, to move on, uh, subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to leave down the description down below. It's called Self-Expression, or I talk about my business that I'm uh, currently working on and the site that I'm about to publish. And if you would love to, leave a comment, leave your email, uh, phone number if you would like to. And we can always talk and chat about the videos I upload if you have your own opinions. And I would love to get in contact with you and talk to you about whatever possibly hits your mind. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.